Hey, yo, what up, man? So, um, the, the veil is slowly being lifted about the true conditions of the economy and this, this, this bubble that will be popping at any time now. We don't know when it's going to happen, but it has to happen because we're literally almost at, uh, what, $30 trillion in debt, okay? We just had, I think, what, um, over the last three years, we had over $20 trillion added to the, the uh, national debt. And we can no longer um, sustain it and prop it up through the Fed and all these other tricks and, and, and um, <laughs> tricks and, and maneuvers or whatever else they're doing in order to hide from the American people the inevitable. Um, people are purposely choosing not to work because unemployment pays more. And this is by design, people. This isn't happenstance. This isn't, um, uh, you know, this doesn't not have an end game. Um, the Democratic Party is trying to destroy this, co this country economically. That's the only way you can really do it. Because, again, as long as the, the U.S. dollar is the reserve currency um, of the world, um, it's going to be hard to unseat America as, you know, number one on the planet. But if you can get to the point where the dollar is um, worth absolutely nothing and uh, you have these other countries that are trying to build up their currency and all these different alliances and things that are happening, along with, um, you know, the, the booming of cryptocurrency and things like this, um, that's the way you get it done. Um you know, it's, it's not Tuesday, <laughs> uh, but it's all but been proven, bro, that the ultimate um, goal of all these major politicians, bro, is globalism, okay? If you don't believe me, again, um, tragedy and hope, and, you know, just, I, I'm not going to even, I'm not going to go through that. Uh, and the way you get through that is the, the best way to get through um, the best uh, globalism or the globalist um, uh philosophy or system is communism so this is why we're seeing all these extreme things and you know um they said the other day the president refused to say god when delivering a prayer and all these different things um even though you know this this country itself was created under the principles of you know uh, the god of the bible so what's happening is the, even the pretend money or the money out of thin air is running out and you know uh, me and people my age come from the last generation of there is no free lunch um, meaning that even if a person qualifies for it and they get a free lunch someone somewhere is paying for it and it's usually going to be the people in the higher tax bracket uh, which are uh, you know the middle class uh, citizens middle class get hit the hardest because middle class um, for the most part don't have other things that they know uh, that they can or know how to manipulate the the tax law. Everyone made a big deal about how Donald Trump only paid you know X amount of dollars in taxes and they were doing all these things. But again, bro, if you have a great <laughs> you know tax agent or um, I think they call it what uh, C was it CPP or wh whatever it is, whatever it's called, people that prepare your taxes. I mean, you can't fault a person for knowing how to save themselves money. And instead of um, vilifying it, if you were smart, you'd be trying to learn the same thing because um, you have aspirations one day of being a, being a high earner. You should, at least you should be, especially as a man. So, um, but, you know, um, you know, the media game plays, plays the game it plays and, and people try to turn it into a bad thing, which I promise you, um, Donald Trump is not the only um, multimillionaire or billionaire that's out here doing the same thing. Um, it's just the fact that they had to destroy his image and tell you that he was a bad person and evading taxes and all this other shit. When again, man, it shows that he actually prepaid taxes. That's why he paid like the low amount. But however it goes, man, back to the uh, main gist of this. What's happening, man, is again, um, the Democrats are destroying the dollar purposely. This isn't happenstance. This isn't just coincidence, again, and all you people out here that are lazy, 
Okay, it's why I have no, bro. I have no. Even though I grew up, grew up a poor kid. I grew up poor. All right. I have no sympathy for poor people, bro. I I don't because just like I used to be poor as a kid when I had no control over it. I was a victim of circumstances. I couldn't help this. I couldn't get out here and work myself. I couldn't do anything to change my circumstances. But the minute I became an adult, okay, I got a job. I worked. And I'm still working to this day. So we live in America, people. A place where everybody wants to come and be great. Okay? You have the, the, the biggest and best, some of, I'm not going to say the, some of the biggest and best uh, financial and economic opportunities on the planet. One being because of the currency itself, and then two, just being able to, uh, you know, be your own boss and make your own business and do all these things just off of hard work and determination. But this is purposely, again, being killed by offering the free money and um, all of these um, crazy, absorbent you know, unemployment benefits for doing absolutely nothing. I just seen the thing on <laughs> um, uh, IG where it's a room full of females, man, propping themselves up on chairs because all of the whole room just got ass jobs, okay? People, this, this, this is what your tax dollars are coming to. Not necessarily our tax dollars, but yo, somebody's gonna have to pay for this. I don't want to pay for a whole bunch of ratchet ass, bonnet wearing bitches ass jobs, bro. All right? You're not gonna have opportunity, you're not gonna have access to to <laughs> to social security over a whole bunch of motherfucking ass jobs. That's what these chicks are doing with the, these um, the stimulus checks, these PPP loans, all these different things. And again, man, it just keeps getting shown like, bro, this 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 free money, bro, is it, not good. All money ain't good money, all right. It's crazy how all these little colloquialisms that 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 you know that they, they 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 die over time because you know people stop saying them and that's man that's 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 a big part of the problem, a huge part of the problem, a huge part of the problem, man. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing, all right. But you know, nowadays, nothing um, from nothing gets a whole lot of something. And people are purposely not working because they make more money getting unemployment than getting a job. You got people out here on um, shortage, worker shortage, worker shortage, worker shortage, worker shortage. Bro, who the hell is going to work at McDonald's or, or any of these other minimum wage jobs when they're getting unemployment with a bonus or whatever it was? It used to be 600 I think it's $300 now, extra. What, why are you doing this? Why are we doing this? And then you do it for months on months on months on months on months um, on end. Listen, man, this 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 is this cannot work. UBI cannot and will not work. All right. And all these things are um, the the unemployment and uh, what is it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Um, Stimulus checks and all these things are just UBI light, and there is there talk, it talks of another being another stimulus check on top of not just another stimulus check, but um them giving out um, three hundred dollar month three hundred dollar a month payments to people just for having kids and being below a certain earning thing, you know earning threshold. Listen, man, this this this, this is not good for anybody, bro. This is not. It's not good for anybody. And if and when you don't understand that shit, bro, everybody loses. Everybody loses, man. You know? So, um, pull up on me, uh, I don't know if we'll do it. I'll probably do it on Monday. Monday evening. Um, we're going we gonna to talk about it. Because, again, man, um, this, this, <laughs> the only way to kill America, bro, is through the dollar. Only way. You have to take away the financial advantage and the, and the economic foothold we have globally. And all these people, that's what I'm saying, bro. They're trying to get this shit did as soon as possible. Run up the clock. Run up the the um, debt ceiling. So even if they do get um, primaried out, or they get some of these people. Um, uh, voted out um, in 2022 uh, you know if the damage
damage will already be done and it won't be you won't be able to reverse it and on top of that they'll be blaming the other party for it so again man hey i hope you do if you're getting this money you're doing something um uh, you know something productive with it you're starting a business uh, you know investing all these different things don't be out here trying to get your motherfucking body done all right don't be out here renting rims <laughs> Don't be out here taking motherfucking trips and shit to a place that, that you know what I'm saying, and, and just, just go spend more money. But all in all, man, that's that on that one. I'll catch you on the next one. Out.